Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tsarok and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tsarok and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Aquarius star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will try here to do my best to explain you the, the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you should uh, check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as the sum, as the Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deal that it is going on, on the website regarding the 20 and the 30 minute service, uh, which you can take advantage of. Basically, it saves you some money. So that being said, going to the tarot sprite first. Now the first card it is the nine of wands, but what really makes an impression here is the second one. Now this is the topic of the week, and the second one is the very core of the situation. So this week is going to be a week of adaptations for you. Now recently something happened. It's, it's, uh, this is what the card, the tower card, is pointing, or it is about to happen in a very first couple of days throughout the week and whatever is to happen is gonna basically make you adopt a different uh, different standpoints different strategies and nothing will be the same it is basically you are gonna go through a, a major transformation regarding either your career or either your relationship or maybe both so what the, the tower card is associated with, it is a, um, as I said, transformation where it usually hits with a, a very, very unpleasant symptoms. Just to give you an example, I'm not saying that this is going to be with you, but just to give you an example uh, here, that could be where your relationship simply shatters because of a certain revelation. And uh, this is a, a transformation that you and your partner needs to go through just so you can see are you strong enough to pick up the shattered pieces and to rebuild back your relationship. Same goes for your partner. Same thing could refer as well to your career. It is basically what the tower card points is that through a, a flash of insight here or a bolt of energy, everything that you stand for, everything that you have built up, in this specific field is to be almost destroyed because there is no room for growth any longer and now it falls to you to transform it in a way that you like it to make it different and yet very comparable with what you expect it to be so that is a tremendous opportunity for you Aquarius throughout this week really to take advantage of the quote-unquote uh, misfortunate circumstances and to rebuild back your relationship life and your career life and the topic here is the nine of wands which points that you first needs to persevere through patience that is very important now the nine of wands it's all about um, aligning yourself all right because the card features a, a person who went through a lot and now that person is guarding their ground, but the very most of the card is that this person knows what it is coming. Now that person has the experience and uh, knows how to defeat its enemy should, a, should an enemy come around. And that happens only through that person realizing where the leaks are and taking the necessary measures in order to plunge the leaks. <clears throat> So uh, that card is associated with you guys uh, adapting yourself through the transformation instead of struggling against it. And that transformation, for example, as well could be unexpected pregnancy. It could be as well uh, unexpected, uh, kind of like a, a bankruptcy of one's company and you, you, you need to kind of like find another job. And instead of falling into a despondency and being frantic about it, uh, you rather should start thinking about, you know, 
know how you can use that into your advantage because you can use that into your advantage you know and you can really make the necessary adaptations here and the necessary changes into your daily routine into your environment into your lifestyle into the way you do things as well so you can um, rebuild back what you have lost and even make it bigger make it why why um wider here and sprawl upon those fields that you could not until this very moment but it is again very important to draw to draw from the past experience of yours and it is very important to be patient to be patient uh, in order to make those again necessary changes that is going to uh, which that enterprise is going to take so the the enterprise could be lucrative or happy at the end. The very least, the tower card refers to that it always has a cleansing and nurturing effect when the turmoil uh, passes, right? And as it is a fire card, the turmoil rather passes quickly. So uh, this week, again, uh, repeating here, is going to be a week where you need to find a, a new way how to improve yourself as the ways that you are trying until this very moment are about to prove quite futile. Now what we do have then is the tree of pentacles which is the challenges that you need to overcome. And the tree of pentacles could refer to a couple of things in this specific case. It could refer to the options available. Uh, and if that's the case you may not find a, a very options available for yourself to proceed for, uh, further with rebuilding back your life, if I may express myself that way. The Tree of Pentacles also is associated with cooperation, so it will be difficult for you to find people to cooperate with so they can help you, you know, uh, rebuild back and sprawl uh, whatever uh, you are going, th uh, you are transforming or whatever the, f the universe is transforming for you. And I'm saying that because usually when the tower card hits, the universe itself is transforming that thing which you are finding most comfortable in because as you are finding yourself extremely comfortable in, you are not striving to expand it and that's why the universe takes its ha take, uh, puts its finger on it and expands it for you, but this time around it makes it the harder way. And so you are to uh, have a, a very big difficulty, or not big difficult, not very big, but yet again, facing predicaments to find people supporting you there. But the very big predicament that you may find is people to give you an advice and to understand you. Because this card points that people are to criticize you for what you have done and for what you are about to do as well, because they may lack a, a belief that you are professional enough, professional enough or experienced enough or skillful enough for that matter, you know, to rebuild back, you know, for example, your relationship or your career for that matter in a certain way. Tree of Pentacles, it is very important to be taken as a card of laying down the foundations. So you are to find it very difficult to lay down the foundations of your new building, of your new structure that will suffuse your entire life. And the last card that we do have for you Aquarius is that will be the Knight of Wands which represents uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. And that is a, a very sound advice here <clears throat> as a guidance. Now as everything is rumbled and uh, it's brought to your knees or rather you are brought to your knees uh, and uh, literally you know I don't want to sound that grim, but literally things that you have uh, fought for are, are kind of falling apart throughout the week. This card advises you to find different ways. The Knight of Wands, it is, it is a person that is you in this particular case, that expresses what your character needs to be here. The Knight of Wands is a person who always seeks a uh, an orthodox 
maneuvers, always seeks an un unorthodox ways how to improve themselves. They constantly explore, they constantly experiment as well. They are finding themselves amused with the difficulty that it is in front of them with the predicament because the predicament is what keeps their, their interest. As soon as they are done with the predicament, they quickly lose a uh, interest into the enterprise or into the agenda or into the, you know, <clears throat> the job itself and you can use that momentum you know as you are to face uh, the predicaments of going through a, a transformation because every transformation is painful just like the evolution you know uh, <clears throat> you can use this moments of, of interest in, of interest to examine your further options available and if you do so you are to find out that you can come up with a quite of a, a brilliant uh, solutions to uh, to how to rebuild up your life and you are to amaze a lot of people as a matter of fact those who criticize you are going to spit on their words because they are to find themselves utterly wrong about their opinion and most likely they are to come around and apologize for that they did not have a belief in you and that they have abandoned you in the um, in the moment of need so that was the tarot reading for you Aquarius and now we are going to the Lenormand card reading which is to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Shuffle them really well and uh, let's see what we got. We have the broom and the whip which are associated with uh, fights, scandals, arguments and uh, <clears throat> revenge sometime and uh, in generally disagreements. Then the next card that is to be the cross which is uh, associated with suffering, it is associated with despondency as well with a, a, a state of feeling low in spirit. And the last one this is to be the, uh, the snake which stands for betrayal, which stands for enemy, uh, which stands for being smart as well and uh, intelligent of course and sometimes it's, it stands for a, a mother or a woman so uh, what we do have here is a, a very bad fight that is happening either with someone that you are realizing that they are traitors and they for some reason retaliated you know and they revenged on you and this is exactly where this rebuildment is going to come from it is basically something that you haven't expected and now it is a revenge taken upon you for a thing that you didn't know that it was something bad you did back in the past Past and they take and your uh, rivalry here took the uh, the sneaky way around waiting when you are most vulnerable or in other words where you are most happy of your situation and taking their strike bringing down the structure of that you have built and uh, but for their uh, undoing here you are fully capable to go through that uh, transformation and to rebuild your life even better than before. Because to punish those who wish you wrong is to show them that you can live better than before without them. So that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Aquarius star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.